What's going on everybody? Horseman here. Today I'm bringing to you a very special video where I have just dinged level 60 on ridiculous difficulty and uh, up to this point I have saved all of my legendary uh, bundle bags in an effort to open them uh, once I hit level 60 so that way I can hope to get like fairly well geared out. So the idea here is that I want to replace my main armor with the cosmic set that's what I really want to do and I have an entire stash tab full of legendary bundles that I'm gonna open up right now uh, so that way you can I don't know participate in the fun of actually getting all this random stuff you know um, so if you don't know the, the legendary drop rates are pretty bad right now and um, so this was really kind of the only way to do it and I don't like getting legendaries this way but this is pretty much what we have to do right now um, I'm hoping it gets fixed, but it's one of those things where I just really doubt that's going to get fixed. But I'm really excited to get started on these legendary bundles. So here we go. All right, here we go. Number one. What do we got? What do we got? All right, good start. It's a very good start. I wanted to get that cosmic helm because there are, I mean, I like this set, especially for my particular build, because of this right there. I mean, if there was any cosmic set piece that I needed, it is this one. The others are really just to get the rest of the set bonus uh, to activate because uh, you need three total. Uh, I like having that extra conductor skills um, uh, plus there, so that really does help quite a bit. Um, all right, man, this is actually a really good start, so I'm pleased. All right, next up, all right, the cent cent centrifugal, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that, demolisher. I actually do like this. I've been using this right now in my legendarium for a while because of the fact that um, it gives me some extra bonuses to the, to the hammer spin. I get an extra charge, and it does more damage while also taking less time to charge up. It is my movement skill, so therefore it is imperative that I have as much benefit to this as possible, and the damage isn't so bad either. Now, granted, uh, in my current level, damage isn't that great, but whatever. Next. All right, something new, Woods Beast Helm. Um, I've never used this, and it looks like the set bonus isn't that great because it's based off of a smoldering shrine, which is not exactly something that, it, uh, that I can benefit from on a regular basis and is certainly something that I can't exactly count on having at any point in time. So uh, I can't say I really like passives like this. It should be more on skill activation or just a, a, or something that's going to buff a skill. But this is a very weird passive skill for a legendary item. But I will say it looks cool. All right, another one of these uh, damage is absolute crap. Um, so it's not something that I'm going to end up using, either sell or I'm going to demolish in the enchanter's table. Um, yeah, I mean, this one's kind of just crap all around from the looks of it. Damage is terrible, and nothing is beneficial to my build. All right, moving on. All right, next. Okay, Dryad's Necklace, um, or Neck Band. This is something for my pet. I don't care. Doom Pipe. Now, this is something that I really wanted. You know, I forgot to mention earlier, uh, Doom Pipe is one of those items that I absolutely, absolutely wanted because that it's basically making it so that every time I activate my flamethrower car, it's like I have full endurance, but I don't have to spend the endurance so I can use it for something else. So that is fantastic. Love it. Outstanding. Put that in my legendarium. Another demolisher. Bloody hell. Getting three of these things. No bueno. No bueno. All right, something new. The tenderizer damage is decent here. Um, lead train car. Okay, the passive is actually pretty good. Um, it's going to allow for me to shoot two additional every time I activate a train. Okay, not bad. Uh, but I do lose a bit of... Is this a... This is a single-handed weapon. Huh. Might have to look into this. Might have to look into that. All right, arc powered helm. So this is the electric version of the set. Uh, sets. Um, I love the way it looks. To be honest, I like that helm. 
uh, but the passive's not that great. Stormblade, it's a good weapon. I, I like the passive on it. Basically, basic attacks uh, can call down a bolt of lightning that does 200% weapon damage. I mean, what's not to like, right? Uh, but in this case, the damage is a little low. Certainly would like to have a weapon that's going to be around the six to 7,000. Berserk Crusher is also something that is new. Um, haven't seen this one before. It gives me bonuses to Miasma. The passives don't benefit my build that much, but I can at least use this for the damage, and I can also uh, get back a, excuse me, a couple points uh, from Miasma and allocate somewhere else. So, cool. I will probably use this, maybe. I'll have to look around. Let's see. I like that critical hit chance, so that that's really what I'm looking at, because I, I don't want to lose critical hit chance and then and then not gain something back. So this is this is not bad. Okay. Moving on. Come on, give me some good. Give me some good. Ah alright, skittering shoulders. Okay, I'm not a big fan of these. And uh, Arachnid Assault is not something I'm using, so uh, I'll probably end up putting it on one of my dummies unless I change my build up completely. Uh, token of Invigoration. Okay, so I, I have a blue tag on my on my pet right now, so I can use that. Stormblade, another Stormblade. Damage is not that great at all, and um, neither are stats, so this is going to be fodder. Uh, battering Ram. Okay, this was a decent um, ability if I used the ability Pound, which I'm not. I'm not using Pound. So, But it does give me some bonuses to my flamethrower car. I do get a plus one skill, but it's not something that's going to... I mean, the damage damage on this thing is actually really good. Um, so I will have to see how that's going to affect my stats. All right. So, uh, not bad. Uh, that Doom Pipe was really the, the best thing that came, that came out of all of that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and place that right now in my Legendarium. Uh, because that is a huge, huge, huge thing right there. So, um, using that. Get on in there. Mm -hmm. You know, I could uh, swap out the Centrifugal Demolisher. But to be honest, I really like having that there. Uh, there's some other options but I haven't seen anything that can really take that place. So, uh, we'll see. We'll see. All right, so I do still have some more bags. So let's go on to this, uh, the next, or the last line here. Uh, right there. Bam, 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 bam. All right. And I'm going to come over here and open them one by one. All right, give me something good. Come on. Last chance. Egg of Mayhem. What is this? Uh, if I use Venomous Maw, oh, it, it, it can also use the skill of a random relic. <laughs> uh, well, it is Mayhem. That is cool. I like that. Sneko Stick. Decent damage. But uh, not a huge fan of the Sneko Stick. Um, there's a lot of hatred on it. It's it's okay. It's just not great. It doesn't stand out. Uh, and I definitely don't like getting a second one. Okay. Cosmic boots. There we go. Nice. Finally get to update my level 20 cosmic boots. Good, 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 good. Uh, I can't. I, I don't know if I'm really benefiting from the passive there because uh, I don't use my uh, my basic attack all that much. But at least I can enchant them. So that's good. And I don't lose the crit. Okay, good, good, good. All right, another neck band, uh, electro warding. So this will directly replace what I am using right now. All right, dang. Was hoping for some more set stuff. All right. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put all of these in here right now, with the exception of the things that I want to equip, which is obviously gonna be the cosmic stuff. And uh, I want to look at that hammer again here in a little bit, so I'll have to check that out, see what that does to my damage and weigh the pros and cons, because there was two good pieces, or two good hammers that I that I really liked. 
Um, but uh, I, I gotta look at them passes and see which one's gonna benefit the most. Or yeah, it's gonna. I'll probably have to do some testing. But all right, gotta open up these contracts. I got a whole bunch of them. Apparently, there is the ability. It's called Gauntlet Card. Um, you can. It's infinite spawns, and when when you got double fame, you just your fame skyrockets. So that's how you get a whole bunch of these levels. But just gotta keep going through these real quick. And hopefully, can get a couple more legendary bags. So come on, come on, come on, come on. Yup, there we go. Come on, keep going. Bags are probably gonna be full soon. figured all right so let's go through these let's see what we get fort decorations we get random fort pieces uh and sometimes you get some good stuff sometimes not so good stuff uh i can use those and uh, uh all right so i'll save the legendary bag for last trash 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 go through here uh yeah trash Yes, uh, decent damage, trash, nope, nope, alright, um, mats, it's always good to get mats, you know, when you first start and you want to build your fort, let me tell you, I mean, you just don't have enough mats, but then you get to end game and it's just like, oh crap man, what am I going to do, oh, there we go, cosmic pauldrons, that's what I'm talking about. So I now have four pieces, and I swear to goodness, I have yet to see a chest and gloves drop, but that is good. Now, uh, I'm only happy about this because of the fact that now I can kind of finagle pieces of equipment around a little bit more. Because the passive doesn't really benefit me. The defense, or the, the, the blocking, the defensive part is decent, but it's not great. So, but at least if I really needed to to make sure that that helmet always has its cosmic bonus um i now have an extra piece that i can kind of finagle around with so hopefully i can get like some good pete like another good set like the arc set or this or or the woods beast set and um and the bonus is decent on at least one of those pieces so i can benefit from it but uh so we'll see We'll see, we'll see. I might end up... I don't know yet. Don't know yet. Alright. Alright, you know what? <clears throat> Moving on. Alright, finishing this up. More mats. Okay, my bag. Can I get one more bag? That's a negative. All right, I'm real close though, real close. So let's let's go ahead and do this again. More fort, toasted totemic trees, uh, rustic stools. Okay, and just gonna go through these match real quick. And I'm gonna open up the blue gear, and then the last one is gonna be the legendary. So and no, moving on. Yep. And what do we got? Last one. Last one. What do we got? Come on, give me something good. Ah. Okay. Not that great. Skittering legs. Um, this doesn't look like it's a great... Yeah, it doesn't look like it's a, a great um, passive bonus. So maybe maybe a skittering ends up being the one I can, I can mess with that later. So... I'm just not using the ability that it's asking for. You know, I mean, I would love to, but I, I really like the build that I'm using, so I'm not really, like, torn up about it. But, um, you know, it, it would be good to hold on to it, and I will hold on to it just in case I do decide to change my build up, especially since I get, you know, as I get higher up in the Farseer's uh, dungeons. So who knows what's going to happen, honestly. I mean, uh, I'm probably not going to be getting rid of too many of these pieces of equipment unless they're just absolute garbage, like those Stormblades. Yeah, looking at you. Um, all right, so anyway, that is it. Uh, I'm gonna go back to it. I'm gonna go ahead and mess around a bit and and see what what these new items brought to me. 
Uh, I'm going to have to mess around to see what kind of gives me the best benefit, defensive, and attack, and uh, and mess around a bit. So uh, I won't I won't have you guys. Another day, that, but... another dungeon. Anyway, see ya. Uh, I, I do appreciate you watching. If you did, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, and... Uh, now you have an idea of what you can do if you decide to play this game save them legendary bags You know, it's nice to, to open up a few here and there just so that way you can populate your legendarium But I would definitely Advise waiting to your level 60 to open them all so that way you can get nice and geared and progress through the dun uh, the dungeons um, the, It makes a difference so all right, or at least it should make a difference. I'm, I'm hoping anyway I haven't actually <laughs> played around with it yet. All right, so I will talk to you later. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, throw it a like. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put it in the comment section below, and I will get to you as soon as possible. All right. So until next time, y'all, Horseman out.